All right, so I'm out here on one of our tribal units. Um, I get to trap today on the clock, which is pretty cool. But um, we're trapping boomers, which are also known as mountain beavers. They're little furry things, look just like a beaver without the tail. I'll show you when I catch one, they're kind of weird. Anyway, yeah, and there's a possibility for uh, spotted skunk as well, because they eat the boomers. So this should be pretty cool. I got about 33 110s and uh, we're going to get them set and uh, I'll show you what to look for for boomers and what they actually look like. So yeah, let's check it out. So I'm just walking this unit along the fire trail, checking stuff by the creek there. That's where boomers like to be. I've probably hiked about a mile now and I haven't seen much as far as Boomer, but you can see it's really thick. So if I didn't go exactly the right spot, I might have missed them. But I found a hole here, a little Boomer hole. They like to dig in there. And you can't really see, but it goes quite a ways back in there. I'm not sure how old it is. There's no... Uh, they like to pile ferns outside their door and I don't see any... But I got a 110 in there, I got another one to set uh, on the other side of that hole, and uh, we'll see what happens. So when you're boomer trapping, you want to be looking for, uh, see this kicked up dirt, some random ferns laying on the ground, and then this is a pretty good sized burrow in there. So again though, I'm not sure how... Oh yeah, there we go. See that? He's got ferns. That's his food. Wow, he's a hungry guy. Been looking all day for a hole like this. The ferns right there means he's in there. So uh, let's set one of these 110s, maybe a couple, and uh, nab us a boomer. Oh, I just kicked dirt in my trap. Come on. I had a trap in there and I just kicked a dirt clod in there. All right, I think I hit the gold mine here. I found multiple burrows here with uh, down fern. You can see them, I'll get closer in there. I got a 110 in there, that's what the pink flag is. I still need to set that hole because you never know. Um, also, I put a 110 in here. See, I just kicked dirt in that like a like a smart guy. There, I'll just redo that there. All right, so I have that there, and this 110, it only has one prong. It was a rookie move. I should have checked that when uh, I put him in my bag. But anyway, I figured it'd be a good one to um, put down for the civic skunk. Uh, wow, civic skunk spotted skunk um, because when you catch these boomer in there he'll come down and not only will he well he doesn't even really steal your kill what he does is he rips up the guts like William Wallace and he straight takes his freedom and he also sucks the eyeballs out like some kind of freak uh, it's actually really creepy when you see it so if it uh, happens I'll go ahead and show you that but anyway I got one hole. I got another one in here I need to set. This just looks like a, a feeding shelf. But then I got this huge burrow in here. I got one tens in there. But I don't know if you can really see, but that goes back quite a ways. Kind of creepy. And then this guy over here. This must be the throne, dude. This is where he sits. Freaking Jon Snow, the boomers. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'll keep you posted and uh, we won't be checking these till Monday because it's a Friday. Um, and I'm actually locked out of this property unless I'm on the clock, which kind of sucks because this is a great um, unit. I could imagine, I've been seeing coyote sign all day. I saw a huge cougar turd. It's not like I'm gonna trap a cougar, but anyway, um, there's a lot of wildlife here, but uh, the only thing I'm allowed to trap here is Boomer and uh, Spotted Skunks. It's alright though. Alright, keep you posted. I'm dying. Ugh.
tell my wife I love her. Just kidding. Doesn't hurt. Just picked this up. Looks like I'm a little too late. Actually, everything that isn't white was underground. I saw it next to some deer poop and I kicked it over and saw this. I wish I was a little bit sooner on it. Anyway, it's part of being out here. It's my mountain goat sound. Because all I do is run up and down hills all day like a dang goat. Oh no. I don't want to go to school today. In my line of profession, what goes down has to come back up. There's the rescue bird. Almost there. I'm so close I can taste my ham and cheese and jalapeno sandwich. Yeah. All right, it's a good day. It's a check day. We actually weren't able to make it out. Um, it's Thursday and we set these last Friday. Um, but we'll see what we got and uh, hopefully we've got some boomers. All right, I'm at my first hole here. This is the one I wasn't sure if it was active. But it looks like we got one in here. Ooh, and I got them with both 110s. One barely in the back leg there. Oop, that came right off. And one right here in the head, and that's a kill shot. So that's a boomer. I'll show you up close here in a second. All right, we got a boomer here. Not a lot of people know about boomers. They're also known as a mountain beaver. They're like burrowing specialists. And uh, see, he's missing the little catty tail that beavers have. He's just got a little nub like a bear. They got pretty cool little fur. And they got orange teeth like a beaver. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like a, a beaver and a rat mixed. Anyway, yeah, we uh, trap these because they eat the trees we plant and they can decimate a whole stand of timber. Um, in that sense, they're gnarly little buggers, so we want to get them out of here. Anyway, yeah, that's a boomer. Let's go check some more traps. Okay, here we are at hole two. My first trap is still good, but that was a protective uh, trap for the skunk. So as you look in there, I see him in there and got another boomer. All right, so here's the second boomer here. Just want to show you from the other side. Here's this like beaver teeth. They're a little dirty. But look at those claws. Digging specialist. Next to my boot. They wear a size 5 in women's, so I mean, this isn't too big. Alright, so here's what I got. This is a, a 110. It's a conibear trap. It's a single spring. I'm going to show you how to set this. So what you want to do is close the spring with your hand. And then you kind of pull it apart to apply resistance. And then you can take your free hand. And squeeze it together then you want to flip the latch here lock this trigger here and then bam just like that she's set and then when something walks through that bang she's done I snapped my fingers earlier in this video and I made a joke about it um, but I really kind of don't want to do that again. <laughs> I mean, it didn't break my fingers or nothing, but it doesn't feel good ever. And just keep in mind that a conibear bigger than this, this is the smallest one they offer, and a single spring, they offer this in a double spring as well. But uh, any bigger or any more springs and it will break your fingers. Uh, these are kill traps. This is not a foothold. This is designed to kill whatever hits the trigger. And that's how they work. They run through them tunnels and they can't even see those traps. My preventative measure trap for the skunk. 
wasn't set. And when I rolled up here, I didn't smell any skunk, so um, there just must not be any spotted skunk in this area. Um, hopefully my foreman got some skunk because they're really cool looking and the fur is actually worth keeping. So anyway, uh, let's check the rest of these holes. Empty. And there's one right there. Empty. I would have thought for sure there'd be more over here. Um, still got more holes to check. Huh? Oh, we got one in here. Let's check him out. Ooh, he feels big. Yeah, that's pretty big. That's probably a, the biggest boomer I've ever seen. Yeah. Next to those size five women's boots. That's a big boomer. Man. FYI, they're 11s. Oh, looks like I got the king of the north. Sitting on his throne, came into that hole. Bam, biggest boomer I've ever seen. All right, so I'm done checking my side of the unit. And uh, my foreman actually has this side behind me right here. If the camera could smell, you smell Pepe Le Pew. I smell a skunk. And here he is. Spotted skunk. Different than a striped. They're usually a lot smaller. It's pretty cute. Anyway, definitely gonna keep him and skin him out. Even though he stinks. Really, really bad. But no pain, no gain. And in order to get something beautiful, I gotta deal with the ugly. All right, final catch of the day. Look at these guys. Little Pepe. What happened to you? What happened to you? Yeah. All right, so that kind of just wraps it up. I was just taking a minute to Thank Creator for my blessed day. You know, we're out here in the middle of winter, in the middle of this unit, and I'm in a t-shirt. Couldn't ask for a better day. Got paid to trap. Anyway, super lit. Just wanted to say thanks for the view and expect more content from me.